but I'll go in and watch rehearsal. And I have these little sketch forms I use. Sometimes when I'm short of time, I'll videotape it. But I prefer to sketch it out in time. You know, I've got a stopwatch. And I'm like, somebody does tour jeté, and I do these squiggles around, and somebody else falls down and rolls off that way, and I have a little shorthand. And then afterwards, um, I'll talk to the choreographer and say, you know, what what inspired you to make this? What do you, if they're not if they're not specific about what, about what they're trying to say. I'll say, you know, what informed it? And I, I will start getting a picture of color and texture and direction. And then um, I'll look at a ground plan for the space we're going into and realize, oh, can't do any of that. What can I do? Sometimes I'll walk in to a piece that's, you know, it's fully realized and they know they want blue and green and I need a special here. And I'm like, okay, we can do that. Why don't we try this transition? Because they could either appear in the special or we could have the special gradually come up as they walk into the special or, you know, try and fulfill their needs without doing that and causing the audience to make it like jump cuts, you know, unless it's appropriate that it's jump cuts, because some of them are. So it's sort of, you know, if dancers could articulate what they were trying to communicate, they'd be writers or performance poets. So they tend to be a little less verbal about what they're doing and they just want to show you. And I'm like, okay, I can go with that. It took me a while, but I can say, oh, I know what you're trying to say and I can try and do this and this and this.